It's a beautiful day to be alive. And today we're talking about email. If you're anything like me, you have been sucked into the black hole of death that I call my inbox and been stressed out, overwhelmed, and just like, ah, when it comes to email and the constant fire hose of new messages that come in. I have let this get the best of me for far too long and it wasn't up until recently where I started to change some of my patterns, habits, and tools that I use for email so that I have way less stress, I feel a lot more confident coming into my day and not like I have this like endless mountain to climb when it comes to my inbox. And so in this video, with I wanna share with you three tips, two tips, and one tool that I have been using that have made all the difference in the world as it relates to my productivity and just feeling way less stress, growing way less gray hair. Well, maybe that's not true. The gray hair is still coming in. But at any rate, making me feel way better during the day and throughout the week as it relates to checking email and also being on top of it. My very first tip, because we're gonna jump straight in, is related to my two hour rule. For the most part, whenever I would check email, I would just all day throughout the day be checking, responding, and it was just a distraction nightmare. It wasn't until the last couple weeks where I would actually, in my calendar, block out three segments of time equaling a total of two hours, an hour in the morning, a half an hour after lunch, and a half an hour towards the end of my day, knowing that I had this constraint that I had to work within to get into my inbox, check my messages, respond to those that are important, and then punt on the ones that I could either respond to the next day when maybe the volume in my inbox wasn't nearly as crazy. And the hard thing about this system is being diligent in capping it at whatever that time block that you set for the morning, afternoon, or evening. Now, that those time blocks, you know, those three time blocks work for me. You might be able to spice this up and maybe do an hour after lunch and an hour towards the end of the day. It's really up to you to decide what works best for you, but it's that two hour rule that has really changed how I look at email, interact with my inbox, and feel a sense of relief when it comes to getting towards the end of the day and just being okay with whatever spillover happens. The second system and bet more so practice that I started to put into place is only responding to emails that need a response. Now I'm sure you've gotten the email where you fire off an email to someone and saying like, oh, thanks so much for handling this or yada, 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 basically just closing out the email exchange on your end, only to get back a simple one or two line email saying, you're welcome, no problem, okay, got it, whatever. I stopped responding to emails that didn't require a response like that. One, to save me some time from actually responding and taking the 10 to 15, 30 seconds to do so, and also trying to save someone yet another email to check. So I would highly encourage you to adopt a system where you're not responding in these quick one-liners just to complete the thread. If the thread feels completed, let it be. Now, what I am super excited about, and this is the tool that I wanna share with you and has been a game changer for me, is a new email app for Gmail that I recently signed up for called Superhuman. Now. I started looking at Superhuman um, uh, a couple months ago. It's an invite only. You have to like basically request access. And I was like, ah, whatever. I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to learn a new system. Boy, was I wrong. I wish I would have adopted this three months ago when I first looked at it. And I ended up adopting it about two weeks ago. And it is literally a game changer for me. And I'm not paid by these people. I, I just... I hate email so much and they're making me hate email way less. And so I wanna give you just a quick tour of the experience that I've been having using the Superhuman app so that if you are someone in the workplace um, at your company and email is just one of those things that you dread as well, this app can save you time. And so here is my Superhuman inbox for just my standard Gmail account. And the cool thing about 
the Superhuman app is it's all based on cool shortcut keys. So I'm not having to like take my hands, you know, to the mouse or my trackpad or left, right, and center just to respond to emails. It's all built in. Just as an example, if I'm looking at my inbox, I can use KKK to go up or JJJ to go down and go through my inbox in that manner. Then if I want to say, read an email, so we'll just go to the top here and say, I'll read that. Cool, YouTube comments. And then I can just hit E to archive that and then go back to my next open email. I can hit E again to archive that. Here's another one, E, or I can hit escape to go back to my inbox. Now, those are just a few quick and easy shortcuts, some of which the existing Gmail app has, but the thing that has really been a game changer for me is they've incorporated a order called snippets. And this is nothing revolutionary necessarily, but as far as email is concerned, it has saved me so much time from those little tiny micro interaction responses, even so much as to say, at the end, you know, I'll say like, have a great day, hope you had a great weekend or whatever. I have those all as snippets. So now instead of typing out, have a great day, I can just hit the shortcut key, which is colon, you know, GR for great. And then it'll pull that up, hit enter, boom, bang, I'm done and sent. This sort of functionality to keep my hands on the keyboard and moving quick has literally saved me so much time. And plus it's been fun. And you might not think like maybe these millis milliseconds or seconds are going to equate to very much, but let me tell you, they absolutely do. And I have just seen the power over the past two or three weeks of how much it has had an effect on me working within that two hour constraint that I mentioned, such that I can get through my inbox and get to inbox zero about 90% of the time. And so if you are a Gmail user, you're working in a startup, working in a company, or you just have the sort of job where you're replying to a lot of emails throughout the day, Superhuman, it's 30 bucks a month. I mean, this it's not cheap software, and I was hesitant at first, I do. 30 bucks, not a problem. I would pay this all year long, all lifelong. Like it's really providing me that much value in this sort of time that it is saving me. And that is what I have for you today so that you can garnish a better, garnish a better, so you can create more time in your day and have a much better relationship with your inbox and hopefully take back um, some of that time to do something you love get outside the house, get outside the office, hug someone and just live a good life. And with that, I'm out and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya. Now I gotta <laughs> respond to a few emails to get this to zero. I love hitting E. E, you're out of here. Boom, out of here, out of here, out of here. Undo. Dude, I could do this all day long and this is what I do, even with the movements. It's so fun. <laughs> okay, I'm out.